What up guys, welcome back to SWE Racing. It's been a while since we had shop video time. We still put the time in the shop, just haven't been videoing a whole lot of that. We went through, uh, we changed a few things, got some tires on it, uh, checked tow, adjusted carburetor. Hopefully we don't have that carburetor issue that we was having. We got her ready to rock and roll. We got Scott over here doing the final torquing on the wheels. Right heist are set. Toe set. Hey guys. What are you doing? Nothing. You're not allowed in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you make her speechless. You got anything? That'd be nice. to, got anything to say? I'll be back next week, stronger and better. Stronger and better. I think uh, she's kind of fighting a little mental with her surgery that she had. Uh, still want to get hurt. I think she's ready to go win. She needs to get that out of her head and quit racing in her head and just go drive the car. Uh, we had that radiator issue that was kind of playing on her. She thought she blew it up and smoke and everything else after she had contact. And so I told her she should have kept going. She didn't, she didn't, uh, she only had like one lap left. She would have gained quite a few points, probably at four points if she would have kept going. I know. But uh, she thought she had blown it up and she didn't, well, blown the radiator up and didn't want to keep going and damaged the motor. So she came off. Uh, we got another radiator lined up. We'll, we'll get that changed out and we'll get that 78 turning on the bottom and hooking and booking and she'll go back to victory lane. But back to what we're doing here. You got gonna say bye or are you gonna just hang out or I'm just gonna hang out. Okay. So anyways, we got the street all ready to go for this weekend. We're leading the points by one point. Uh my buddy Sean Lester, he's right behind us. I know he's putting in the time on his car to try and beat us. Well, we're all putting in time, buddy. We're all gonna do what we can. We got, uh, what do we got, four wins this year. Last year we had six. So we got, what, four races left? Uh, yeah, no, five. No, we don't got no five. We yes. got like four or three. Three, you got three more this month, and then two next month. No, no, no. We got two more this month and two more next month. In including the 13th, the 13th, the 20th, and then two and... I don't think... Anyways, we'll double check that. I think we only got four left. We got four wins. We're looking to close up on four more. So a little update on the late model. I actually put a video out on this, me cutting it. And then I don't know what happened to the video. It was all sideways, so I didn't even put it out. But uh, we got her all cut off. All the bent stuff cut off of there. Getting ready to put it back together. Got the tail section over there. All the bent up bars and stuff that we cut off, the rear bumper, the back rear frame support. Uh, there was an extra uh, bar across the top where those kickers come down to. Got that all cut out. Uh, we got the rear tail section suffered some damage. We're just going to patch that back together. We're going to take some aluminum, bend it at 90s, rivet it back on the corners, put that thing back together. Uh, the rear quarters we did that video on repairing these this was the side that we repaired the right side as you can see it broke out again where it's in the graphics I don't know that I'm gonna do a whole lot on the outside I'll probably patch it on the inside just leaving that on the outside for now and across the top these are all broke up here so we'll re-glass that Retouch that up. Go to the other side. We got a major crack here. We're going to probably just sheet the back of that or glass it in on the back side. Anything above the graphics, we'll go ahead and we'll touch up. We'll, we'll re-glass that. Repaint that. Up in here, we got above the graphics. We're going to re-glass all that. Get that fixed up. Got one down here. That's in the graphics. We're going to glass the back side for now. After this year, during the winter, we'll probably go back and order new graphics, pull all this off, and fix it all the outside right. 
And then this one, the, the thing of it is, is this is actually a limited late, like I told you guys before. And I was racing against super lates. And we didn't really have a whole lot of time to do setup. Uh, don't pay attention to those numbers that are written up there. They don't really mean anything to you. But anyways, this limited late, they're bringing back next year. They're going to have a limited late model class. So we're going to get this fixed. And then we're going to send it off over to Avalanche Chassis Dynamics. Have them go through the whole front end. Do our bump, our roll center. And we're going to probably run this a lot more next year. Because they're bringing back the limited lates at Magic. So anybody out there that watches my video that's local. That wants to uh, come play in the late models. This is a very affordable class. Uh, I mean, when I say affordable, I mean you better have a little money. I mean, don't think you're going to come out of a bomber and run in this class. It ain't going to happen. So, I'm talking to you yeah, over there. Yeah, I want to go play with the late models. No, good luck with that. You, you ain't at a street stock level yet. <laughs> okay, you go play with the late models, I'll go play with the street stock. No, I don't think so. Uh, we got two streets out there we got to build. And maybe one of those will put you in one night for a practice, see what you do. But So these actually have a motor setback of six inches from the upper ball joint. This one's actually been heavily modified, as you've seen. It's got rack and pinion. But on those rules, you're allowed a full fab chassis. You can have a stock chassis modified chassis or you can have a full fab chassis. Well, this one here is about as fab as you can get for a stock chassis. It's not much stock about it anymore. The word stock is kind of interpretive. To me, if I call up Speedway Motors and they've got it in stock, it's stock, right? Kind of, but not really. So that, that's where we're at on the limited late model. You'll be seeing a whole lot more of it next year. That thing will be hooking and booking, and we'll, we'll we'll put on a fight in the limited late models. We don't have a big motor to run super lates, but if we had more time with the setup and Avalanche Tyson Dynamics had its time with that car, we would have done a lot better in that super late because, like I said, I know this car will run 14 threes, 14 fours, and that's basically what they're running during the main, even with the super lates. The equalizer is the track size. So they can't really get into that big horsepower. It's all about turning. You got a turning car, you don't need big horsepower. You roll the center, you'll you'll click off those late times. So anyways, it's collecting dust over there. We're going to get back on it. But right now we're really focused on securing a second street stock championship. Two in a row. And Third in points, my rookie year. And we're, we're, we're trying to really hold on to her third in points. we got to get her out of her head, like I said, and get her back to racing. So that's what's going on. I figured I'd just touch bases with you here at SWE Racing. You can see as I'm talking, she's waving her hands. She's got something else to say. I have an apology. Who? You. Why? There are four races left. So uh, I owe him an apology. I don't need a I was right. I just knew I was right. I know, and I, I'm admitting, I'm being the bigger person and admitting I was wrong. Well, thank you, but that's not necessary. So, anyways, all right, guys, thanks for stopping in. Shop's kind of a mess. We've kind of been thrashing. Still ain't done nothing with the uh, late model motor that we got to build there. Uh, we're just, like I said, focusing on what we're doing this year with the street and her with the bombers. Uh, she's got lots of sponsors. I'm not even going to go through all of her sponsors. One of my major sponsors, i got to thank. Love towing without them. It wouldn't be possible. She's got lots of $100 sponsors and stuff like that, and which every bit helps. Uh, that's the one thing I would like to iterate to you guys. Mm -hmm. If you're going after big $400, $500, dollars sponsors, you're probably not likely going to get them. Uh... You're, it's a lot easier to say yes to a couple hundred dollar sponsor. You just got to keep in mind, by the time you do vinyl work, to have them print it up, yes. you're eating up your hundred to two hundred dollar sponsor. So you need to throw in there a uh, hundred to two hundred dollar sponsor and you supply your own sticker for the car. 
which is what some of my sponsors do, like the hospital. Most of your sponsors do. The Minidoka Memorial Hospital, Love Towing, and uh, Pro Star Hearing Service. Yeah, so all of mine I have to go have made, but I deal with a little higher, I deal with a little higher end sponsors. I don't have a whole lot, but uh, what I do have, they treat me real good. They've been with me for years. And uh, we're looking forward to bringing them a second championship. And she's looking forward to a uh, rookie year top three, uh, rookie of the year. And she's hoping she gets best looking yes. car of the year, but she keeps dive bombing that corner. I don't think she's going to have that because I'm tired of painting it. Well, there's only two awards I really want, and that's rookie of the year and best looking car. That's all I can ask for. So, yeah, we thank you guys for coming in. Mm -hmm. Hey, we appreciate you all showing up. I want you to know that we are approaching 200 subs. We're at 182 right now. We've been doing this for almost going on a year or two years now, I think. Uh, I've seen a lot of other channels that put a lot of clickbait out and they're up uh, tons, of spawn, or tons of subscribers. And I like my channel to grow organically. If you like what you see, subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe to our channel. It doesn't we don't get any monetary value off it, but the subscribers help the algorithm to pump our videos out. And therefore, in return, we get more subscribers, more people enjoying this. The reason we do it is to show you what goes on behind the scenes, what goes on at the track. Uh, I'm not invincible. I, I, I've already accepted the fact that I'm not living forever. Neither are you guys. And so I've had loved ones that have passed and... Uh, can't really hardly I can remember their face and a little bit about their personality but I can't really go back and listen to their voice or see what they were as a person how they like to enjoy their life and so that's the main reason I started this channel so that my grandkids and my kids after I'm gone if they get to miss me I'm forever alive on the internet just click on my channel go back watch a few videos if it helps you with my passing then I, I'm happy wherever I'm at. So that's the main reason I started this. But as all things, I am competitive. I would like to see the channel grow. I would like to see the subscribers go up, the views go up. And so I'm just asking you, if you like this channel, subscribe, follow us, like, comment. Go follow FFR. We're teamed up. We're partners. I'm going to zoom in on that FFR. If I can, there you go. Go follow them on YouTube. They're a great bunch of people. They're always doing stuff. They're never ending. See if I can zoom back out. Maybe not. There we go. So anyways, go follow them. Tell Skyler I sent you over there. Tell old A. Flynn. What are you doing, man? You ain't won in a while. What are you doing? You're letting your brother kick your butt. Go get some wins, dude. They even have a Facebook page. Go like them on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, go follow them. Chasing the Checkers, Chase Holland, go check all them guys out. They're all good old boys that do the same thing we do. They just do it on dirt. Uh, they show you a lot of behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, so anyways, thanks for coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Come back again. We'll catch you on the flip.